Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, Master KG finally gets South African Music Award as Jerusalem goes diamond in France. So after being sidelined and snubbed by the South African Music Awards the summer's last year, global superstar and Jerusalem hit maker Master KG has finally gotten recognized by the Psalmers and awarded as this year's International Achievement Recognition recipient. Now needless to say that Master KG's fans are in full celebration mode for the singer after I would imagine they feel this is a long overdue recognition from the Psalmer organizers. Now there's a statement that is in the papers from the Psalmers and they say that Master KG deserved the recognition for flying South Africa's flag high on the international stage. That statement reads as follows. Follows. Through his smash hit Jerusalem featuring Nom Trebo, he reached the, the stratosphere of international fame and acclaim the anthemic Jerusalem sparked an international dance phenomenon that took every corner of the world by storm. Videos of flash mobs and musicians remixing the song were awash across social media platforms from North America, South America, Europe to Asia, Australia and of course the mother continent Africa. Master KG is currently in France where he is touring the country and Italy from Kayla in Zanin, Limpopo to the world, Master KG has flown the South African flag with pride. Now the South African Music Awards account on social media also posted the following. The pandemic may have brought us to our knees but Jerusalem featuring Nomtrebo Zigote gave us comfort and Master KG SA is truly a mastermind for the work he has put in to make the world dance. He is the recipient for the hashtag Summer 27 International Achievement Award we see you champ. Now Master KG has expressed his gratitude and replied to that tweet and wrote my first summer award thank you for the recognition. Now apart from that Master KG also shared some other good news on his social media. He posted the following picture of himself holding a Jerusalem plaque and captioned it as follows. Today I received the biggest certification so far in my career. Jerusalem featuring Nom Trebo is now diamond in France. Damn thank you guys and all the team open mic Electra Africori Warner Music France. But yes definitely a huge congratulations to Master KG and well deserved at that. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, we still have time. This is what Police Minister Peggy Kele said on Zuma's order and he has praised police at Nkandla after insults. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, Police Minister Peggy Kele on Monday morning today said that there was no crisis of time to act against former President Jacob Zuma. Now all of this is after Jacob Zuma was found guilty of contempt of court for failure to comply with an order issued by the Constitutional Court to honor a summons to appear before the state capture inquiry. Now Zuma was sentenced to 15 months behind bars and was given five days to hand himself over for processing. Now if Zuma did not present himself at the police station, the court ordered that the police minister and the commissioner of police must within three days take all steps that are necessary and permissible in law to ensure that he is delivered to a correctional center. So according to that statement, after the five days have passed, which passed yesterday, the police minister as well as the police commissioner have three days to actually apprehend the former president, Jacob Zuma. So in essence, this means that the police have until Wednesday to act against Jacob Zuma if he did not abide by the ruling. Now in a last ditch attempt to save himself from prison, it seems like Jacob Zuma has applied to the apex court to rescind its order. Now Peggy Kale has come out and said that he sought clarification on what steps to take. He is quoted as saying the following, We still got a lot of hours. We don't have a crisis of time. We also hope that we will get clarification because when we were given the instruction, there were no other legal activities taking place. We have sought better clarification. Are we waiting for the new activities that are happening in court or are we to continue as per the present instruction? So we still have time on that one. Personally, I feel like former President Jacob Zuma is going to be appealing, ducking and dodging until he's no more. 
But nonetheless, going back to after that court order from last week, dozens of Jacob Zuma supporters actually camped outside his homestead to protect him from incarceration. Now another part that is developing when it comes to the story, apparently the crowds of people, many of them didn't have masks and were not really adhering to the COVID-19 protocols. And it is also reported that some of the supporters outside Nkandla were firing firearms. Now Begitkele has rubbish claims that the police failed to act and said that just because you didn't see us on TV, it doesn't mean that we were not there. We took good time in preparation of Nkandla. I want to congratulate the police for the way they behaved at Nkandla. There were more than 100 people coming from some hostels and were mingling within the people. Police knew that and had that information. They even tried to provoke the police by by shooting those firearms in the air. There were many women and many children and police had to take a step back. Now Peggy Trele also added that if the police acted recklessly, blood would have been shed on that particular day. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, according to the police minister, they still have some time. Someone should actually make an anonymous call to Peggy Trele and say that there is alcohol in Nkandla. I'm sure he will be busting down that door right now. Our next topic, Zola7 needs some help. Now, a few days ago, quite a musician Zola7's friends dismissed claims that he is severely ill. However, it has been reported by City Press that his management team has started a crowdfunding initiative to help pay for his medical bills. Now, the legendary Kwaito star, whose real name is Bonginko Sidlamini, has been living with chronic epilepsy. He spoke about this on Mac G's podcast and said the following, I lost a lot of weight over the past year. I was extremely sick. I was home and I was shaking. Everybody around me was scared I was going to die. I couldn't eat well. I was eating macheu, porridge and fish. Nowadays, I have to take medication twice a day just to get by. I was very sick during the song with Casper and I think we did about 25 cuts. I was fighting to look normal but I wasn't. I was extremely very sick during that video. Nazola7 said that everyone around him was very scared because of his illness. After his diagnosis, he has been relying on heavy medication to survive he has suffered two attacks whilst on the road driving and one resulted in a serious accident and he has since taken a decision to never be behind the wheel again now there was actually a story by sunday world that reported that zola rammed into a spaza shop but getting back to zola's management team that says that although he is high spirited zola is not having it easy as the medical bills are piling up so they have turned to the public for help by asking for assistance when it comes to medical bills so City Press have actually ran with an article that reads Bonginkosi, Zola7, Lamini's management have decided to set up a crowdfunding initiative to help with his medical bills. And you can read more on the City Press website. Now last month there was also a viral picture of Zola7 that sparked worry across his fan base on social media after a person claimed that he was extremely ill. A user on social media posted the following picture of Zola7 and captioned it, Zola7 is not okay, apparently he has epilepsy and he is also struggling. If you can reach out to help to lend a helping hand, please do. I know we as South Africans love and appreciate Zola7. We will do anything to help him. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.